Well, today we're going to talk about the importance of your buck to doe ratio on your property. And one of the things and one of the ways you can look at it is QDMA actually have on their website they have a like a computation formula and you can go in there as you're reviewing your trail cameras I actually like to use a little bit of analogic bragging rights early in the season or in the summer and what you do is you you put some analogics in front of your trail camera and then when they're coming in you notate the number of unique bucks the number of total bucks the number of does and the number of fawns when you put that in there, QDMA actually gives you a formula to help you determine your buck to doe ratio. And the goal for a property is either a one to one or a one to two ratio. And if you have a higher doe ratio than bucks, than that, you need to go in and actually help control some of your population. Um, one of the biggest things you'll notice in having a buck to doe ratio that's out of order is your rut. And that's what I've noticed on some of my properties. When we have a lot of does on a property, the rut almost seems non-existent. Uh, another thing we like to keep the population even is, you know, especially over the winter months when food is scarce, you know, there's only so much food deer can eat. And if you have this many deer to eat that much food, you even that out, all of the deer aren't getting enough over the winter months. That's one of the reasons why we like to supplement with analogics, especially over the winter months. But overall, if you're trying to help control and help create a healthier deer herd, the buck to doe ratio is a great way to do it. And for me on this particular property, uh, Cody and I have noticed that we do have uh, some does that we need to thin out. So the right thing comes tonight, we will thin out a doe tonight. And it's better to do it in early season. That way, if you have your ratio and you're helping your ratio, your rut is going to be a lot better than if you wait till after the rut uh, to thin out some of your, your does. And also remember, every year when fawns are born, they're roughly even half does, half bucks. So don't lose hope because it doesn't necessarily get worse. It gets better every year, more even every year, but you still have to thin out some of those does uh, to make your hunts a lot more fun. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by Analogics Outdoors.